Hi there, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I am altering a notebook, so I'm not making a card, but I am using some of the same things that I would use to make a card. This altered notebook is for a Simon Says Stamp Wednesday challenge, which was girl power. So here are some of the supplies I used. Um, I'm going to start off with some Kansan XL watercolor paper, which was a 9 by 12 piece. It's 140 pounds. And um, I cut it in half so that I could do a notebook cover. And I grabbed there the pickled, or picked, ha, picked raspberry distress oxide inks, which are a little bit different than the regular distress inks. They um, oxidize, which gives it kind of a chalky look and uh, they're really good to stamp with as well, whereas regular distress inks are not very good to stamp with. So all I'm doing there is something that you have seen me do before if you've watched any of my other videos. I am doing some ink smushing. So I put the ink down and spray it with some water, and then I just kind of manipulate where I want it to go. One of the neat things about the Distress Oxide inks is that they kind of lay on top of each other, whereas the regular distress inks don't do that. So um, I really love the look of that. And so I just keep kind of putting the ink down and, um, and, and manipulating my paper over the top of it. And in between, which you don't see, is that I am heat setting it because you don't want to do it while it's wet because then you're just going to get probably mud over the top of that. So the three colors that I have used there are picked raspberry, fossilized amber, which was the yellow, and peacock feathers, which is the blue. So there I've got something going on there. It, it, um, those are my first layers. So now I'm grabbing just some packaging and I'm going to do the same thing except I can manipulate it a little bit better if I bring it to the paper. Then I can get the ink exactly where I want it. So I'm spraying it again and I'm using the um, Distress Sprayer which um, is neat for a lot. Of, it's got a couple of different techniques you can do with it as well. And I'll show that here in a little bit. So I'm doing the front and the back, kind of um, going sort of like a rainbow, knowing that those colors will overlap and the pink and the yellow will kind of give you a little bit of an orange. The yellow and the blue will give you a bit of a green. So you're getting all the spectrums. And then I'll put some of that blue on top of the pink and the pink on top of the blue to get us a purple. Moving from one color to the next because, um, I don't know, I just love how they layer. And you, you can see there, you could do this a bunch of different times and get a different result each time. There I am using the exact same colors, two sheets of paper, and both of those papers are turning out very different. You don't want to overwork it because you'll find that you'll get a little bit of mud. And you can see there I'm kind of trying to pick that up where it looks like it's getting brown before it gets too dry. But the heat gun dries it really well. And now I'll move on to the blue to add a little bit more blue where I'd like it. It's just really a neat look. Dobbing up some of the color there. And then I'll move on to the back cover here and put a little bit more blue down. And you'll find that when you're using paper and water, it could warp the paper. So I find that heating on the back of the paper will kind of get it to straighten out a little bit. Now I'm using that Distress Ink Sprayer and just spritzing some water. And I'm only spraying it like the bottle, about a half of a squirt, so it'll get big droplets. And then I let it sit there for about 30 seconds and I wipe it up and I get these like water splotches. Fun fact about me is I like to do mixed media, which would be, you know, any, any type of media I can get my hands on. I like to put those together. This isn't exactly mixed media, but I like to do stuff like that. So I've grabbed my stamp platform and I'm inking up my stamp with um, some Distress Oxide Black Soot. And the stamp that I have there is actually a Unity stamp and that one's called Windows to the Soul and it's a large one. And using my stamp platform, I can stamp it down a couple different times. And this is a rubber stamp, so I don't know if you noticed earlier I had picked the, the board or the cover up and flipped it around because it's rubber stamps and clear stamps actually have a different dimension to them. They're not as, um, the rubber stamps are a little thicker than the clear stamps, so you have to stamp those differently. 
And then I just stamped the sentiment, which was from Imperfection is Beauty, which is another Unity stamp by Donna Downey. And I just stamped that on. And yeah, you can see it's kind of a scrap piece. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a flag banner with that sentiment where you just snip in the middle and then your corners meet the edge or meet the meet there in the middle and you've got a flag banner. And I'm going to cut off those splotches on the side anyway. So I'm going to grab some um, multi-medium matte gel liquid adhesive and put that over the top just to that edge there and I'll put my sentiment down, grab my scissors, and cut that from the back. And here's one of the neat things about altering a notebook. I find the spiral notebooks, I found this one at Target, it was on clearance, and I didn't like the cover, and it didn't matter, it was all messed up anyway. So I can just peel that spiral part uh, apart a little bit, and I can pull off the covers. And then I'll use the one cover and I'll put the two together and I will use my hole punch to punch some holes. And, and let me tell you, my holes are not good and they're not very fancy. You could probably get a, a tool that would work a little bit better, but it does the trick. All I need is for it to punch some holes. And then you can put it back together. You would put your, your front cover on first, just putting it back in those holes. And then you would grab your back panel and you would put your back panel on pretty much the same way. And then once you get that through all the holes, you can pinch that binding back together and voila, you will have an altered book. And I love it. One last thing I decided to do is grab my white gel pen and give her the whites of her eyes a little bit of white. I didn't go too crazy. I didn't want to alter it too much more. I just really love the color in the background. And there it is. I'm really happy with how it turned out. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. Um, I would love it if you liked or subscribed to my channel because I'm going to have more stuff. So we will see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.